Hi everyone, Melissa here with Imagine and today we're going to be doing something a little bit different and this video is intended for the beginning crafter. So in front of you, you see a chart that I'm using with all of my Memento inks stamped out by color using this uh, chart that I found at ellenhudson.com. I love having swatches of my inks in front of me because you get to see the true color of the inks that you're using. I'm choosing colors to make a Tuscan sky today using Memento dye ink and these little sponge daubers. Now the colors of ink that I chose are Dandelion, Morocco, Danube Blue, and Paris Dusk. I'll also be using a double-sided adhesive tape called Tarot Tape, which is a fabulous tape for a beginning crafter, and you don't need a tape gun with it. You'll need a silicone stamp set or rubber stamp set with an, a um, sentiment that you like. And then I also have an A2 size card based. An A2 is a four and a quarter by five and a half inch, and then a panel that's cut to the same size to go on top of it. So just some basic cardstock. I'll also be using this wonderful rainy day stencil from LDRS Creative to help me make this card. First, I'm gonna start with the um, dandelion color. So when you think of a sky, I'm thinking of kind of a Tuscan sunset. And so I'm going to start with a yellow at the bottom, um, indicating that the sun is closest to the ground. And all I do is take my sponge dauber, dip it into my Memento ink to pick up the color on the dauber, and then I simply smush that into my paper, kind of in a round um, pattern. Now I'm going to speed up this portion of the video, but I will talk you through it as I go. I take the cloud stencil and kind of move it back and forth so I don't have the exact same pattern repeating over and over. These stencils are made that you can then just wipe the ink up with a cloth, especially if you're using a dye ink like Memento ink. It comes off pretty easily. In addition, I'm going into the Morocco, which is the orange, because as you get closer to the blue portion of the sky and away from the sun, your yellow will fade into almost an orangey color. And again, you can see me flipping that stencil back and forth. Sometimes I even put it at an angle and I flip it over and use the other side, but just make sure that you wipe the ink off on the front so you don't stain your card. And here you'll see me do that. I'm gonna wipe the ink off and then I'm gonna flip the stencil over and use the other side um, to start putting in some of the Danube blue. Now I'm adding the Danube blue, again in the same circular motion. Again, this video is sped up, but I wanted to slow it down for you because I wanna show you just a little something that I do here. The white cardstock that I'm using is nice and smooth, and so because of that, if I get a little bit too much blue ink here, I can take a cloth that's dry and simply blend it in a circular motion into the paper. And it lifts the ink just a little bit to kind of dull the color. And it also helps blend that into the cardstock. So if you feel like you're not getting a very smooth blend, just use a um, cloth. A paper towel doesn't work so well, but a cloth like this will. And you can see it softens the color just a little bit. Now I'm gonna go in with a little bit more Danube Blue, and again, the same pattern, and rubbing it back just a little bit. Now I wanna add my last layer, which is the Paris Dusk, because at this point, we're the furthest away from the sun, and this will really put on a nice dark shade. And I zoom in here so you can see this closely, because I think this blue is just a really pretty color to add to the top. And voila, you have a beautiful finished panel of clouds that all you really needed for or needed to make was a stencil and some wonderful inks. So now I am gonna add a sentiment to the card and I'm gonna use the same inks that I used to make the background. And in this case, I'm gonna be using the Dano Blue Memento ink. And I'm just putting the stamp on an acrylic stamping block and finding a position that will look great with my card. So I'm gonna take the Dano Blue, open up the ink pad, and I like to set my acrylic block flat and then um, stamp my ink pad actually onto the stamp. Now I do this because I get an even coat of ink and I know exactly where I've actually layered that ink. If I flipped the um, acrylic block upside down and stamped into the ink pad, I might not know exactly where I'm going with that ink. So now I'm simply gonna grab it, um, line it up onto my card, 
and smush that right down into the white cloud. Now what you see me do is once I set it down, I rock it back and forth. I'm not putting too much pressure on the acrylic block because if you do, you can get some smushing of the stamp that you know goes out and doesn't really look good. But you can see how beautiful the stamp looks if you just put a little bit of pressure and rock it gently back and forth. Now, all I need to do is adhere my panel to my card base. This is where the Tarot Tape comes in. I love Tarot Tape, it's very easy to use. You just pull it off of the roll, adhere it to your card base, card panel and for me I like to add it definitely to the edges of the card because adding it to the edges of the card really adheres down um, your card panel and once tear it tape is adhered down I promise you your card panel will not lift off of your base this is a wonderful double-sided adhesive tape so what you see me doing now is simply peeling the back off and so sometimes you have to rub down the tape to make sure that you can pull off that backing and then that backing comes off nice and easy. In addition, you don't need a tape runner to use this, so you're eliminating one of the products that you might not want to buy when you're a beginning crafter. It's not really necessary, in other words. Once you start crafting a lot, you might want to change your mind and get a tape runner, but right now, for a beginning crafter, I think the double-sided tape works fabulous. And here is the finished product. I hope you enjoyed today's beginner's tutorial with Imagine.